Hey, what is up, all gamers? My name is EDGamer16, and today we are back for another episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is episode 4. In the last episode, we did a cool skip thing. Oh, you didn't see me. What are you? Insane. Must be insane. Okay, we just killed two doggos. But yeah, in the last episode, we skipped the bull. Which, if you want to check that episode out, well, it's on the channel. Go check it out. Uh, there's two dudes here talking about some stuff. A guy with some armor, which we will we'll see later on. He's a cool fight, actually. I probably wouldn't have known how to beat him if I, uh, if my friend wasn't playing through the game with me. But <laughs> even when I knew how to beat him, I still lost him, which sucked. But speaking of the ball, he should be right on here. Yep, blazing ball. He's just chilling out in there, trying to kill us. Yeah, that's not happening, Bull. You ain't killing me. We're gonna see him like glitch through or something and just run out, run us over. Okay, no. Now these dudes are actually pretty difficult. Ow. Can you not? This area is super annoying, I must say. Not one of the most annoying areas, but it's still pretty annoying. Okay, jump on. I meant to go up here, but okay, that works. Now up here, sneak one bajillion. Backstab this dude. Dash out of the way. Okay, or not. Now, that dude noticed me, so that's an issue. Ow. Ow. What did I just say, mate? Oops, I meant to the pellet. Oh. Oh! Okay, bye, bird. Oh my god. Can you not? Okay, take out this dude. Easy. And now we're going to see the greatest thing about this game. Yes, this dude. The first time I ran into this area, I got fucking mowed down by him. But basically he's like a fire guy. And he just flies in from that kite. And it's actually amazing. I've watched so many reactions of that because it's just so funny. Alright, well, there's another kite over there. I don't remember how it, like, how it sees you. But I know it sees you, so. Okay, that's a lot of them. Hi guys, who are you? Okay, yep. I see you. Yeah, we might have to just run. Okay, that's fire one. Yeah, we, we ain't doing this, my dudes. We're just gonna run past. Hi there. Sorry, make sure I basically the pebble of this game. Oh yeah, there's another one, by the way. As I was saying, he just flew in trying to kill us. Oh, nice guy. Alright, well, we're just gonna rest here, and not die. This w would be a Gord Seed, I'm pretty sure. I would have... Three? No, 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 not even close to three. Well, it's above three. Four, maybe. Possibly five. Oh, hi there. Yeah, i uh, die. These guys are super difficult when fighting two on one. So, um, this is basically the area where you have to become a stealth god. So, yeah, this guy, this guy can't see me. How could he? 
Okay, kill them with these. They give super good experience. Kill grandma. Sorry, grandma. Okay, kill this dude. Sorry, random guy. Grab a pellet. Now what we're going to want to do... Sneak up on this guy, control him, even though you probably don't have Pup Tier Ninjutsu. And then... Uh, if I could grab this, thank you. Go into the secret room, where you will find a prayer bead in this chest. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Right now it's a Jizo statue because I'm in New Game Plus. But also a heavy coin purse is in here. I'm pretty much just sitting here while you see this guy fight the other guy. So far it's looking like it's going good. You know, I'm actually just going to leave the room because I feel like my dude's going to die. Yep. Oh, I could have actually stealth killed. Okay, thrust attacks are super good on them when they're not expecting it. After your first thrust attack, they probably will notice that you're gonna be going for more thrust attacks and be like, Yeah, that ain't happening, mate. But, uh, let's kill this dude. Then go after Grandma. Hi, oh, Grandma, how are you? You doing good, as usual? Now there's gonna be two other d guys coming here, so you wanna open this door and just run. Run for your life. Yeah, just... just go. Just go. Maybe this guy will follow you? Hug the wall, I guess. Okay, the other guys don't notice that you were here. Now, these guys have or thrust attack, so Makiri is really good. Makiri counter that is. Okay, they, one of them noticed me again, so that's actually pretty bad. So unless... Nope, that's not gonna work. Maybe I can... Just stand here. Would he notice me? He would probably notice me. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This guy's probably gonna need some glasses in the near future. Let's grab this Amiibo balloon and kill this dude. Now, this next area has birds. We don't want to go there. They're, those dudes are scary, especially when there's more than one. As seen from before. But we're going to actually get this statue over here. Yes, indeed I am. Just going to rest up. And purchase as many. Oh, we can only buy one. Okay, well that's still fine. We're going to go on over here and watch another vision. The rejuvenating waters, that is what it is called. Are you telling me that this is Ashina's secret weapon? I am. Those who drink it cannot fully die. No, they become unable to die at all. The rejuvenating water, it also... It springs from the dragon's blood, does it not? Yes. Lady Emma, I do not believe the dragon's blood is sacred. Not at all. So, basically, the rejuvenating waters is just Lord Kuro's piss. And people just gulp it on down. But we're going to be fighting this dude. He's a pretty hard fight if you don't know how to parry. Or, is it parry? What is it called? Deflect. Deflect. That's it. You might need long spark, but... Probably won't. Now just go for a thrust. 
Okay, I kind of forgot that guy had it. Oh god. Hi, dude. Okay. Get his first life down. Oh. That's not something we want happening. Okay. Alright. Thank you, Dark Souls. Okay, that's not something we want either. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Ow. Now please don't fudging insta-kill me. Yeah, we don't want to die to this guy. But we might. Okay, and we got him. Huh. Now, this scroll. Right here. It's the hanging scroll of an old battle. So it's talking about reversal of lightning, which will be good for the next boss fight that we have, which we won't be doing for a little while because we are actually going to be doing some fun stuff, AKA other areas. And we're gonna be getting every single area until we get a different boss. Now, what I could do is go fight this boss for the end of the episode, but why don't we want to? Let's just get these next two areas, because there are two other areas that we can go to from here. So, it's pretty good. Pretty good. We got, like, two minutes left for this episode, I'd say. So, we want to keep it around 15 minutes. Don't want it too long. Okay, become the sneaky man. So let's do it with ease. And then... We might as well kill this dude as well. You don't have to. You could just jump down from here. But... Might as well. Okay. Now next up, we're gonna jump on this dude. Cause he's the most dangerous of the bunch. Ow. Okay, again. Okay, I take out all these dudes, and I think this is. What is this again? It's not Gordseed, is it? Well, it's something important, I'm pretty sure. So maybe a prayer bead, maybe a Gordseed. Not a hundred percent sure which one. We're gonna want to open this door up. Just so we can go back to the main place. We could have actually just opened this door and backstabbed the dude here, but... Eh. Oh, I thought this guy somehow came back to life. Damn, he's, he's taking the rejuvenating waters. I have to stop him. I, I gotta tell him that's Lord Kuro's piss. You can't let him know though. Maybe he'll stop taking it and then he'll die, which we don't want. We're nice guys. We want everyone to live. Alright, we can just jump on this dude. He gives us a heavy coin purse, I believe. Yes, he does. Okay, I just poke this dude. Ow. And pick up this guy. Pretty easy. Now this next area is a pain in my arse. I'll just say that. But I think that's where we're gonna end this episode. So let me rest.
and get this item. Okay, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and please like, comment, and subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.